Today viewers, Walter here with just a little little bit of a vlog today. Today I think I would talk about my boot scraper. Now what is a boot scraper? The other day somebody saw this iron thing laying out here in my yard and asked me what it was. I thought I'd share that with you today. Let's take a closer look. It's kind of half buried in the dirt. I'll drag it out lay it up here on the cement and let you take a look at it. Now what it is, is a, uh, well let me show it to you first. It's got some raised letters on top, I don't know if you can see them in this film or not. HP or HR 77 600.12. See if we can zoom in on them. Anyway, it's got raised letters on it. It also has a pointed edges, like right here, a sharp wedge shape on both of these. And I use it to scrape mud off my boots with. This is a solid hunk of iron. And let's see, it weighs, it weighs 40. 40 45 pounds at least. I found that in the train yard. I don't remember which train yard it was. I think I probably was it. Uh, could have been the receiving yard at Inman or it could have been the south yard in Atlanta. But I saw that laying in the rocks it, for days and days, well, actually weeks. I walked by this thing when I was working trains and one day it dawned on me that I wanted it. Well, I was probably a half a mile from my car, so you got to want it pretty bad to carry a 45 pound block of steel that far. But I hoisted it up on my shoulder and towed it out of the train yard and brought it home. And I've kept it by my front door ever since. That was probably in the early 70s. What I think it is, is a part of a draft gear, the inside of a draft gear that holds a cushioning device. And, uh, I wouldn't swear to that. But if you look at the back of it, it's the same shape as a follower block. A follower block is a big, thick, square piece of metal about two and a half inches thick. 11 inches wide, probably nine and a half, ten inches tall, and it holds your draft gear behind the front stops in the draft seal. Your coupler plugs into that and is held in place with a cross key. And I know I've already bored the tar out of you talking about it. I could draw you a diagram of it. I'll see what I can come up with on the computer. But anyway, that's what it is. It's my little boot scrape. In the old days, you know, uh, nowadays everybody got sidewalks and streets and hardly ever get your boots dirty. But in the old days, almost every farmhouse had an old boot scrape by somewhere by the front steps because, you know, there was dirt roads and dirt sidewalks. Everybody walked in the mud. You didn't track no, you didn't track no mud in the house when mama wouldn't have a fit. Had to scrape them boots off before you come up to the front porch. Nobody wants to walk through mud where you done tracked it up on the porch. How many of you have your own boot scrape out there by the front? It doesn't have to be a big fancy thing like this. Just a little flat piece of iron with two stakes on it that you can drive up would be perfect for scraping your boots off. Anyway. Thought I'd share my little boot scrape with you. Let's take one more closer look. You walk past saying, "Don't check mud in the house." We'll catch you later.